um, exciting discoveries about the outside. Cool. Thanks, Pat. So we've concluded on the basis of these physical relationships that the berries are concretions that grew within the sediment at Meridiani. Now, that then raises the question of what are they made of? And that's a tricky question because they're very small. They're smaller than the spot size of the chemical instruments that can analyze them. So what we had to do to get good chemical data was to go to a place where a number of berries had weathered out of the outcrop and accumulated in a little depression, some place we've called the berry bowl. If you look in there, you'll see a wonderful triplet where three of these berries have grown together. This time in planning Spirit Sol 69 with my colleague here, John Grant, we looked at some, uh, we looked at the panorama taken with the pan, pan can um, on the rim of the crater we've nicknamed Bonneville. And we were looking at the, at the horizon features, scanning around, sort of localizing ourselves, and we thought we saw a hint of something uh, on the horizon, sure, above the ground. And this is the rim of Gusev Crater. It's a, it's a long way away. It's 50 miles away, 80 kilometers away. And, it, and uh, you notice the rim there, the bright rim of the crater, begins to fill the frame. And as we end up on the ground at our location where the panorama was taken on Sol 68, you see um, that there's a decrease in the, uh, in the elevation here, the shoulder in that rim on the right-hand side. And if we could go back to this. Darker red color than, than the rest of the outcrop. Then the thing, on the day we left, we decided to leave our mark and perform a scuff experiment. So the scuff fever is contagious and is going on on both rovers right now. The scuff, ex scuff was something of an experiment to test two things. One is to figure out the, the hardness um, of the outcrop that we're looking at, how strong these rocks are. And the second is to, to, to look at the ability of the rover itself to act as a geologist sort of absence of any of any instruments, to what extent when you're just driving around can you act as a geologist? You can, can you scratch rocks? Well, I think the scratch shows that we did. Maybe eventually we can start turning over rocks with the rover wheels. Tell you what blueberries are made of on the 